Turn now to Sports and Dana Green. And Dana, what a good story we have coming up. Yeah, feel good story. It's a story that's captivated the entire nation, even went international. Ten year old Noah Reeb from Highland, Utah, a boy who beat brain cancer, got to meet his hero, Tom Brady, and even got a treasured souvenir. And now Noah is hoping to inspire others. He's done interviews on ESPN, CNN, HBO's Inside the NFL, even an Australian radio station. But considering his son's journey, James Reeb isn't shocked this story is blown up. It doesn't surprise me that, that it resonated so well with them and, and that there's like this real, it just seems, man, it just seems like there's this real kind of like hunger for really good things. For as long as he can remember, Noah Reeb has always been a Tom Brady fan. I was about four or five and I asked my dad who the greatest quarterback was and he said it was Tom Brady. And then I watched him more. I read books on him and stuff and he just seemed like a really good guy. Last December, Noah started experiencing headaches and a couple months later, the diagnosis no parent wants to hear brain cancer. We didn't know the road, the difficult road that he would be on. We knew that it would be difficult, but we didn't know how difficult. Through surgery, chemo, and radiation, Noah tried to stay as positive as he could, but at one of his lowest moments, Noah got a message he couldn't believe. It came at a really dark time. Me and my mom were sitting in our car in our driveway, and I was kind of spiraling down. Hey Noah, how you doing? I just wanted to uh, let you know that I'm thinking about you. I know you're one of my biggest fans in Utah. My mom, she gets this text message. She plays the video and she's watching it and she's like, Noah, dude, it's Tom Brady. My thoughts and prayers are with you and your family and hang tough. You're going to be great. I know it. Whenever I was having a down moment, I'd think, Tom Brady thinks I can beat cancer, I can beat cancer. A family friend, former NFL star Todd Heap helped set it up, and Noah's mom, Jackie, made a promise to Noah. She said, Noah, when you beat cancer, I will, I promise I will take you, I will get tickets and um, fly you to a Buccaneers game. So when the doctors gave them the all clear, Noah, having beaten cancer, flew to Tampa with his dad and made a sign to thank Tom Brady. For Tom Brady sees the sign, and then he gets a hat and he walks over and sticks it on my head and he says like, good job, buddy, and he shakes my hand. And for Brady to put the hat on Noah's shaven head where all his scars are was in a way poetic. I've like had wishes, but this was like a dream. Like, <laughs> like some people wait their whole lives and still yet never get it. So it was just amazing. With the scene played out on national TV, James's phone blew up with messages the next day, and he wasn't sure if Noah was up for sharing his story. Basically, I just said, look, a lot of people are going to want to talk to you about this now, and it was amazing. But if you want to kind of keep it to yourself, that would be fine. He thought about it for a moment. He said, Dad, it, it makes me feel so good. If it helps other people feel good, then I'll tell the story. Now Noah has a message for other kids fighting cancer. Cancer is terrible, but just keep fighting, keep having dreams, and one day they'll come true. <laughs> How amazing is that kid? Now, he still has to go for checkups until he's 18, but Noah is cancer-free, and he is handling all this attention like a seven-time Super Bowl champ, isn't no he? No kidding. I can't even, Dana, that just gets you all choked up. What an amazing Special, story. Special, courageous kid. Great family. He's got a great support group. Yeah. It, was, it was an honor talking to him. It really yep. was. Thanks for sharing the story, Dana.